Okay guys, what's up? This is me YZCuber and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing and comparing the budget 2 by 2s in the market right now. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start off with the MF2C. It comes in a normal MF packaging along with a pamphlet. It's extremely cheap coming at only $4 at the keyboard.us. It weighs 65.1 grams and is available in black and white variants. For the turning, this cube comes with a sandy feeling but the downside is that it comes with frequent lockups. I believe that with proper setup, this cube can be amazing. Alongside this, the cube is also pretty clacky, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I think lube will surely solve the problem. Corner cutting is not that great. You can cut only 45 degree with a lot of force and a bit of reverse with little force. So this explains why this cube locks up a lot, but I believe that with proper setup, this cube can be amazing. Next up is the MF2S. It has a completely identical packaging compared to the MF2C and also comes with the same pamphlet. The turning is way better on this one compared to other MF 2x2s. This one is also sandy but unlike the MF 2C, it is not clacky and is not stable. It is super fast which makes this cube uncontrollable and has amazing corner cutting which reduces the number of lockups. It has a pretty high pitch sound and is comparatively noisy and the edges are a bit too sharp for my preferences and that actually makes solving a bit uncomfortable for me. The cube is $5 at the cubicle.us, it weighs 72.2 grams and is available in black, white and two shades of stickerless variants. Before we get any further, I would like to mention the sponsor for this video, RM Cube Collections. If you live in Bangladesh and want high quality cubes at the best deals and fast shipping, this is the place to go. Links to their social media will be in the description. So after the video, go check them out. This is the Weipo. Packaging is a bit different but nothing special. Also comes with a pamphlet. This cube is really good. It's not sounding like MF cubes but and falls on the buttery side. It has a bit of a blocky feeling to it and is very controllable. For people like me who spam TPS on 2x2, this cube is not for you because it is so controllable that spamming TPS is taxing for my hands and also produces lockups. Which brings us to corner cutting. This cube is good in every angle but it has a disappointing corner cutting. Normal 45 degree cuts require a lot of force which light turners like me won't like during a solve. But even with a harsh turning style, this might be an issue. But below 45 degrees is easy, reverse is also pretty good. The cube is 12.99 at the cubicle.us and weighs 74.3 grams. You can find this cube in black, white and stickerless. And at last is my favorite budget cube and a potential contender to become my main, the Wirelem 2x2. It comes in a Wirelem box which doesn't contain any pamphlets and right out of the box this cube is simply amazing. Extremely buttery feeling and no lockups. It has a dense feeling and low pitch sound, kind of like the Vogue 2x2, and each turn glides over each piece amazingly well. When it comes to corner cutting, no one can beat this. This thing can cut anywhere, and by anywhere, I mean anywhere. Spamming TPS on this is easier than on my current main which is the Ganty 49V2M, and last layer is far more enjoyable as I can grip the cube properly and execute my algorithms faster. So the best budget 2x2 by far has to be the YLM 2x2. It is exceedingly well. So that was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the new editing style and if this is your first time here and you want to see high quality reviews and unboxings, click the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks to Cube Collections for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. All of their links will be in the description below. And in the next video, I'm going to be taking a look at the budget 4x4s in the market. So till then, keep calm and cube on.